Hello everyone, this is Wild Child from the Median team and here is another video of tutorials. Today I thought we were going to make a quick little tutorial about sweating. So, first of all, we're going to through quick little tips, how to sweat, and then we're going to talk about prices. Uh, first of all, this place is called Limnadian District, and this is where I recommend you to go. As you can see, the teleporter is called Limnadian District. Uh, yeah, many new players get this teleporter. Ask someone in our society for a ride here. I'm pretty sure most of us will will help you out. Most noobs, new players, sorry, comes here to sweat and yeah make money for it sweating is not the most efficient way to make money so it's just you know something to fall back on if you tend to lose your pets from hunting and stuff so how does one sweat if you remember the last video i have keybinded my sweating tool which every new player get at the key one so i aim at the mob and press the button just as if i'm shooting on it but i'm not so pressing not every sweat is successful as you can see oh and you gotta keep on aiming at the mob you can't maybe this mob is dry enough so they're going to drown it and then they're going to continue off by getting another one you see this guy here is already picking up a new mob uh, that one's being drowned because it's dry it doesn't contain any more sweat and let's see if I can manage to get a sweat from this one so you 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 just press the button and aim. So a little tip and trick. Um, never sweat your armor off. It's gonna ruin your sweat income. Because if you got armor on and sweat at the same time and you get hit by the mob, your armor will decay and you will have to pay to repair it in, with pets you could have used in, with hunting, crafting or mining, depending on what you prefer. Um, all new players won't have this teleporter, of course, and um, a little extra credit. If you recognize this sound, then I must tell you, you shouldn't be watching this video. So, here comes the sound. I'll see you sweat it up for a while. I recommend you selling it in bulk, so not just this 10 amp sweat because it's not worth anything sweat doesn't have any trade terminal value at all either because you can't trade terminal with it and then, you know, earn a lot of money so I recommend you getting up to like a thousand sweat or something yes it's gonna take a while the more skill in sweat you have the more sweat you're gonna get of course and uh, talking about selling the sweat selling the sweat itself can be quite hard because it's you know every player some players have like hundred thousand no maybe not hundred thousand but a lot a lot a lot of sweat in the storage and they don't want to get rid of it and or they do want to get rid of it but they can't because it's so hard to sell because not everyone needs sweat these things for example um, last thing onion she tried to sell two point something case with at a pretty high price and no one bought it and she just lowered the price to a, it's almost a ridiculously low price. The sweat prices have been up to 5 pet per 1000 sweat or normally they usually are were 4 pet per case sweat but now they are down to 2 pet per case sweat. If you're lucky you can sell them at 2.4 case per sweat. So that's, that's pretty much ripping off new players. I found extremely idiotic. So when you gather up enough sweat for what you want and what you need, or if you're gonna use it to make mind essence, which is used for mind force chips, then uh, you, you can you use it with I think you use it with dung or fruit, I'm not sure, I can't really remember. Uh, I'm, you, you're gonna have to ask someone else about that. I don't remember if you use dung fruit or if you use growth molecules or something. Uh, but if you're just gonna sell it, um, you hand in 
5,000 swift or something to a trader at Twin Peaks, which is another very important teleporter for you to have. And after you send it in, it's gonna pay you, and then you take the pet and drag it into your card, and voila, you made your first swift, swift transaction. Uh, what else can you do? I'm not sure there are not much to speak about but sweating but for god's sakes be careful so that they don't get ripped off because some people are just gonna buy ridiculous ridiculous cheap and then sell it on called resale sell it on at a higher price so they earn the money for that that's just stupid sell it at 2.2 per k or 2.4 but that's gonna be harder for me to sell that's all i can recommend and now let's see how fast this goes Sweat over the D sweat over here and see how long it takes for someone to do this. Ah, oh, I can't drop sweat because it doesn't have any value. Anyway, that's been the London tutorial guide for today. Quick one about sweating. I don't really sweat that much. Some people find sweat a waste of time, some people prefer depositing. So yeah, Silvio Balbosa stab wound in the Laudanum Guild said sweating is a waste of time, I don't like it. And sure, that's his personal opinion. These guys maybe enjoy sweating a lot. I personally don't ex I, I don't like sweating. I don't, I don't enjoy it at all. As you can hear, I'm tired. Um, that's been the Laudanum tutorial for today, this week, whatever. I don't, I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make these tutorials every single week, every single month, I'm gonna use, do them when I have the time for it, so bear with me and subscribe to the Laudanum Media Team on YouTube to get updates when we make videos. Bye!